In this video, I'm going to show you different iTerm themes, dark ones, light ones, hybrid ones. We're going to go through making the terminal transparent. We're going to set an image as the background for the terminal. And we're going to dim the terminal when it's out of focus. And finally, I'm going to show you how to get your terminal colors to show in the VS Code terminal so that you can ride with a stylish iTerm terminal. All right, so the first terminals we're gonna take a look at are just the basic presets of the iTerm, and then we're gonna jump into a few custom ones. So to access the terminal colors, first you open up Preferences, and then we go to Profiles. In Profiles, we go to Colors, and at the bottom here, you see Color Presets, and here we can see the first one, the dark background. So let's take a look at this one. If we LS, that's how it looks. It's a little green, a little cyan, white. Okay, it's a little old school. If we run a command that's not found, it looks like this, the red color here. Arrow will look like that. And if we cat a text folder here, it looks like this. That's the dark background. Let's have a look at the light one. All right, this is the light background and it looks kind of similar, kind of different. Also very old school, reminds me of Windows. So it's pretty much the same colors with LS. It's the green, it's the cyan. We run an error, the red is pretty much the same. We cap the text and it looks like this. Get, I guess, kind of strong. Sorry for you guys watching here if you're in the middle of the night, but that's that light theme. So this is pastel one, basic iTerm. Little. So let's look at this pastel one, the next one from iTerm. It's a little light, light blue. This looks nice, a little easy on the eyes. If we LS, the folders are a bit hard to dis distinguish. They're pretty much just bolded. If we run an error, looks like that. If we cat some text, it looks like that, pretty much the same one as the dark one. This is the smooth one from iTerm. It's got the same blue cyan colors, but it's a little easier on the eyes, not as black. Run an error, cat some text. It looks like that, pretty nice. All right, here we come to some solarized dark. I like these, they're a little nicer. Looks a little more pastel-y if we LS. It looks a bit nice, but the folders and the files are a bit hard to distinguish, but it works. If you run an error, the red and yellow don't really go so well together. And if you see here, I can't even see the suggested text here. This is the solarized light one. It looks all right. The same one, very similar to the dark one, except it's light as it should be. The error is still hard to see, but now at least when we cut the text, we see it. All right, the Tango dark one. It's very dark, but you can distinguish between the things. Error looks a lot better. Cutting the text looks good, but it's a bit too dark. The contrasts are a bit too strong for me. My eyes, it's a bit too much. The white one color could have probably been the same white color as here. It's a bit much. And here we have the Tango light one. Now at least we can see this bar here. But yeah, it's a light one. Error looks like that. Cat TXT looks like that. All right, in order to find some custom themes for iTerm, there's already a huge bank of collection here on iTerm2colorschemes.com. You can find all these schemes. Just click, right click it, press download link file as, and then you save it as it's color dot iTerm colors. This link, uh, web install dev, they also have extracted a few colors that are nice and easy on the eyes. And these are the colors we're gonna go through. Uh, and you do the same thing, you, you right click it, download link file as. So let's jump in and take a look about them. Let's take a look at how we import the files. We go to preferences. Profiles, colors, we go to these color presets and we press import. You go to the folder where you downloaded them and 
If you have multiple ones, you can import them. Otherwise, just import them. Just to show you what's inside the file of .iterm colors, it's an XML file with ANSI color schemes. Once you've downloaded and imported them, you can go into the color schemes and let's select them. Let's start with Dracula. So this theme already looks a little, very different from the default ones. It looks a little solarized. Again, you got the green and the cyan. The red is a bit clearer. It matches better with this red and yellow. And this is how the text looks like. You got the elemental. This is also a very nice solarized theme. You got the green, the cyan. It's a bit very, quite easy on the eyes. The red and what the red maybe don't match perfectly, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. This is the Firewatch theme. A little harder to distinguish what's going on, but still very clear. The red one is quite nice. Text is a little bit harder to read, but you don't really read that much. Here's the Hiver Cruise theme. It's quite nice. A little harder to read. Red is okay. And this is the Tomorrow Night theme. This one's the contrasts are a bit on the low side, so it might be hard for some people to see. This is the toy chest theme. I quite like this one. It's a little playful, a little hard if you want to read a lot of text maybe, but it looks pretty nice. You got the standard Ubuntu theme. It looks a lot like Ubuntu. Pretty decent colors. The reds go nice together. Yeah, it's Ubuntu. It's a good one. And then we got the cyberpunk theme here. We got the folders. We got the error. It looks pretty decent. Contrast maybe on the low side, but it looks very good. And then we got the text here, easy to read. And I have a bonus theme for you guys. It's called Cool Night, and it's made by Jose An Martinez. And he had made a brilliant tutorial on how to set up the terminal just like this with Oh My. So I'm gonna show you that theme as well. So let's import it, Cool Night. And let's run it. And this is Cool Night. This is my favorite one so far. It looks very nice. The themes, the reds are good. And the contrasts are good. Might be a little strong for some, but I like the colorful. It's a bit like the toy chest. Looks good. That's been all the color themes. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the terminal transparent. You open preferences, you go to profiles, and then you go to window. During the window, you can set the transparency Say you want it to 50%, boom, it will be transparent in the background there. So if you have something behind there, you will be able to see it. For example, if I open up system settings, you'll be able to see it on the background. If you want to set a background image, you can do it also under a window and you click enable. I got this great thumbnail. You can watch my video if you want to learn about Next.js, but then you get a little background here, if that's what you want. All right, and the third thing I'm gonna show you is how to dim the terminal. If we open a tab on the side, the, whichever tab is in inactive is gonna be, have this dimmed look on it, it's gonna be a little gray. You do this through going to dimming, and you can set here the dimming amount. And you, if you want, you can dim the entire iTerm terminal if you don't have that active by setting dim background windows. That way you'll see everything dims and the dimmed inactive tab is extra dimmed. So when you switch back, you know where you're gonna head. And boom. So that's how dimming works. And finally, if you want to customize your VS Code terminal, you can do it in the VS Code settings.json. So open up the preferences, use the settings as JSON, and then you go here and you go and paste in these color customizations. As you see, this terminal is currently not customized to our cool night colors, but I've added the cool night colors here which I've fetched from iTerm. You can fetch them from iTerm 
like this. You go in here, you go colors and you can see the basic colors, the ANSI colors, and you can copy the hex code from here. And then you add them where appropriate into the term background, terminal background, terminal foreground, terminal cursor, etc. So if I save this file, boom, my terminal now looks like cool blue and it follows the same color theme. I hope that was valuable. Now go customize your terminal, make it cool, make it fresh, make it your own. And I'll see you around.